Welcome back 523. Now listen, today kicks off Margaret Orr week at WGSU <laughs> as we celebrate her legendary 45 year career and all week we have special guests coming in to honor Margaret. Yeah, joining us live, our good friend, Lieutenant Governor Billy Nunn. Guess you have a lot of stuff here, so I'm going to let you get right to it. Well, let me tell you, I wouldn't be here as Lieutenant Governor had Margaret not told me to get out. And uh, I did. You I did. told you, you got to leave. He I, was in Plaquemines. I didn't leave. For I Katrina. Wrote, for I Katrina. wrote out Katrina. And it was terrifying. But it was good we did because we rescued people and we were able to really save some lives and right. animals. But I didn't listen to you and got frustrated because nobody showed up to help. So I ran for Paris president. And after the oil spill, Lieutenant Governor said, it's your fault I'm here today. Well, I, I am she, so She launched glad her political career. You were here. Said, You've made a difference. Well, listen, I brought a proclamation. I'm not going to read the whole thing. But the service and the love and passion you give to every newscast, every weathercast, um, that's why people watch. It's your love and passion for this city and this state that makes it special. And I just don't know how they're going to replace you. But for, We've got some good people here. For 45 <laughs> years of service, uh, by the power invested in me, I here recognize you for incredible service to the New Orleans region and your love and passion for this city. So. Oh, I love you. And I, look, I know you're going to be traveling, so I got your Louisiana beach bag Yay. with a T-shirt. <laughs> I love when, going to Grand Isle. And when you go hiking, you got a backpack. I, yes, I needed Lu that. Louisiana feeding your soul. I think your dog will fit in there. Oh, God. <laughs> Blue's a little too happy for me to care. But, but you know, you're going to be doing some traveling, so promote. Yes. I know you always you do. You know I will. So I wanted to ask you, I started July 23rd, 1979. Where were you then? Wow, I graduated from high school in 77. Went to LSU for a short stay. <laughs> oh, LSU's great. I went to LSU. And then went home to work in the family offshore catering business yeah. and started building living quarters for the oil field out of old shipping containers. Isn't and, that cool? Uh, you know, I've been thinking maybe we could do that underneath the overpass. I'm always concerned about the homeless. Do you think we could work on that? You know, that? we had a plan we presented when we uh -huh. looked at the quarter, and we actually had a private donation of a million and a half dollars to take and build some module outside the quarter right. with a medical tent to really take care of the homeless. And uh, hopefully what we're trying to do for Super Bowl, we'll clean it up, and not just for Super Bowl, but put us on the path to really cleaning up the city and taking care of those people. Because they, you know, we pass them every day and it breaks my heart every day. And that I think we need to do something, but I like the idea of those containers. See, in retirement, you're already thinking of your next venture. Oh yeah, and, and what about um, the Rose Bowl? I know, I'm so excited about the Rose Bowl. Did uh, you want to say something? No, no, go ahead, I was just gonna, no, go ahead. I tell you, we need you out there this year to promote it. We have a satellite truck and we're in every living room around the country showing them the Rose Bowl, but talking about the crawfish, the boudin, all the great things, Louisiana. So we're looking forward to having you out there as a great Louisiana ambassador. You know what they need? They need a Margaret Orr float, just like me. I, oh, oh, yeah. So that's I think that would be great. <laughs> yes. Well, let me tell you. I'll dance with my pink wig. We only have about 10 seconds I'll tell you, you can ride. We, 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 we put 130,000 roses on that float in three days, oh. and we serve hot beignets from a little old lady in Pasadena.